Warning, the following game contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake Blind. On the last episode, we went through the underground area of the courtyard, uh, managing to find a survivor of the Alpha Team. Or wait, are we Alpha Team? A Bravo Team? Uh... Enrico, only for him to tell us that Stars is finished and that there's a traitor among us, and then he got shot. Uh, we didn't we didn't see who, but we grabbed the hexagon crank from him, which allowed us to progress further into the, the underground. After dodging a couple boulders, we fought a giant spider, which wasn't really that much of an issue. But we also found these parts for an elevator. We put the parts together, went to the elevator, and went to a new area that wasn't in the original game with Barry in tow. And uh, in that new area was that weird uh, monster that can't be killed. But after after finding what we needed, Barry took off and left us alone there. But we managed to find the, a tool to unlock a door, a broken flamethrower, and found a, a weird room with a bunch of candles and dolls, and also the stone object that we needed in order to get, activate that door underneath the staircase in the mansion. And uh, we also found out that it led us outside back to that shed, that was in the new area. So, on this episode, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that nothing popped up during that time. But we're going to be heading off back to the mansion. We don't have that much things left. And you know what? Just because I know there's some zombies on here, I'm going to do this. We're going to use our pistol just because we have it and why not? I'm going to take that with us, and this is going to go right in the box as soon as we get to another save room. But we have over 100 rounds for our pistol, so let's at least give it some love. Plus, I think there's still a zombie outside. I'm nervous that thing's going to pop back out. It's downstairs currently, but who knows? Maybe it'll follow us. I hope, I hope Hunter isn't spawning here now. Right, there is a zombie over here. There you are, friend. Excuse me, I'm just going to take this path like I did before. Look at that poor thing. Oh, there's another zombie. Oh, well, that's the same one. That might have been the same one. Why did it sound so much closer? Well, here comes the graveyard. Oh! I don't remember you being here, but, uh, who cares? <laughs> I don't care. Don't hear anything new here either. Probably a good sign. Okay, we're back. We're back to the ma the mansion. To be honest, I did not think we'd come back here. Well, I mean, that's not, that's a lie. <laughs> there wasn't. There's a. I mean, there was still that door that we had yet to go down, and you can't just leave something like that and not do anything with it. Unless... Unless it's like a post-game thing or something. I'll take this. There's no there's no reason for us to go back that way. Now I'm worried. I feel like this pistol is not adequate enough for anything we have to deal with now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head straight for the door and put both these things in, so we have some inventory space. This might be our last time through the mansion, since this is technically the last thing we have to do here, unless we. I'm just worried. I'm just wondering where this where this thing is that we're supposed to be trying to find.
a lot of these places we've been to episodes ago, and there's nothing here anymore. I mean, we'll get a nice fresh start when we do Chris's story once we're done with Jill. Also, who lit all these candles? <laughs> Like the, I like how these are the questions we ask at like the 11th hour. There's one. There's two. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Thanks, I already hate it. Oh, look, there's an item box here. You know what? No, we're going to hold on to the stuff. Ooh, that doesn't look creepy. A normal setup to just a cave and rickety stuff. Altar. Oh boy, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Typewriter? Where? I didn't see one. You're a liar, game. I didn't see a typewriter. I'm just going back to, to double check now. Wasn't down there. That's not it. This is the item box. Real that's the typewriter? How can you even tell? I guess the only way you could tell is if as if you looked at the map before that, before leaving this room. Also, look that there's a staircase in this next room. I mean, not staircase, ladder. Oh no, there's a staircase too. Uh, <laughs> it says basement one too. It wouldn't say basement one if there wasn't a basement two. We learned this thanks to the underground area of the courtyard. over here no Jill you're alive I was worried because I thought you were start talking calm down I didn't want to do it believe me I can explain don't lie to me to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Give the gun back to Barry. Uh Yeah. Thanks, Jill. Hi, thing. Oh, sweet. What I get an achievement for? Thank you, Barry. What do I do with these? Oh, I'm in a corner. Whoop, excuse me. Anything said? Message has been carved into the sarcophagus. When the curse of the chains has been broken, the path of truth will appear. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Barry. Ah, 
That doesn't sound good. You got her, Barry? I'm just gonna push this off. Oh, Barry doesn't die. believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Aren't right, you going to question him? I mean, he did kind of leave you to fight that thing alone last episode. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they give me another shot, saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa. I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now. So that I can hold you... Hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape! Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Lisa Trevor. Jessica Trevor. <laughs> so that thing, that, that thing that's been following us was Lisa? How many of those, how many of those things did we get? A lot of notes. So she was a little girl when they started act when they started tormenting her. Then we got this message here. Oh wow, look at that change. We this was new. We didn't have this one before. Daddy attached first, mom attached second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard, not true mom wear. Dunno dad found mom again. When attached mommy, she moved no more, she's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom wear, I miss you. Actually, I think we I think we had that. I think that was the thing we found in the in the uh, cabin the first time. Hey, uh, uh, mm, that, that was a. Uh... Oh, hello, camera. Really? Where is this going to take us? Oh, you've got to be joking. There's a large iron door and it won't budge. Ah, oh, balls. This is exactly where I wanted to go. We're there on the map now. Did I get everything in that area then? I must, yeah, I did. I gotta go back to that item box. I need to go get those two medals. Where, where, are, where's the, uh, oh, there it is, right here. I need the eagle medal and I need the wolf medal. So they move, so they move the elevator over here. That's kind of a weird path to take. Well, I mean, to be fair, the previous path is also kind of awkward. 
Excuse me, Barry. We still need to have a chat about why you aimed your gun at me. You're lucky I gave it back to you. Although, to be fair, for the best ending, don't I need Barry alive? I wonder if... What would, I, what would have happened if I kept it? I mean, I already have a Magnum. That's pretty much what his gun is. But to be fair, he did save us during that during that fight. All right, let's put let's put one of these away. We don't need both. Just gotta find out where this goes. I like, I like how I still have my pistol. Although I think we're about to run into some enemies that I could actually use it against. Metal Eagle. Metal Wolf. Okay, if we are if we're going where I think we're going. Enough with the funny business. <laughs> we should be heading into the endgame area. Roughly. I mean, we've we've been everywhere, and we all the rooms are clear, so there shouldn't be that much left, except for whatever's in front of us. <laughs> Maybe we can beat Jill's story by this time next week. I didn't. I I I completely. I completely. I didn't read what that achievement was that I got. It popped up, and I, I wasn't paying attention to it. So I don't know what it said or wh or uh, why I unlocked it or how much it was. All right, I have the, I have the notes. South is eagle, north is wolf. This direction over here. Hold on. I got to check it. I got to take a look at the compass. Okay, yeah, so this is south. There we go. It could have been more cruel, and they could have had, like, several placements here. The secret passage. Oh boy, this looks exactly the same. It's like they didn't change this at all. Use the elevator? Yep. That looks different. No, ah, well, actually, no, that doesn't look that much different. Ooh, there's an achievement. Okay, where the magic happens. Break into the laboratory using Jill. All right, I, I never saw that one. Ooh, we're in the laboratory now. Why is that? Why is that thing blue? Oh, that's just a door. A door that I can open. There's also a. Oh, this is the door. The sign reads: "Will not open unless in first class emergency." That's really close to this stair to this ladder. A huge elevator shaft. There's also what appears to be some kind of water storage tank. How about the ladder next to your foot? <laughs> what, what, what was she looking at? She was looking at the wall. What a lovely sound effect. Oh, I don't remember the music in this place at all, but this sounds worse. <laughs> this doesn't sound friendly at all. Okay, I have all this ammo. Is th is this the place to use it? This room's already green. Oh God, <laughs> my reflection scared me. I saw the I saw the thing on the other side of the mirror, and I thought it was a zombie coming up through the door. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs>
Ah, oh, we we got. Actually, that's a smart idea. We have our we have the lighter and we have we have space. Let's set some bodies on fire. Because if I if I recall correctly, and that's that's been fluctuating throughout this entire game, there should be some zomberts up here. Come on, pop it in the screen like you always do. Yep, there we go. You are not dead. Now you should be dead. Uh huh. Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? Oh, hold on. Is this staircase a real staircase or is it a fake staircase? Like another. Okay, it's a fake staircase. Good. <laughs> well, while I'm here. Wow, one shot? That was it? Just because there is some fuel over here. I can't combine that with the green herb? That sucks. Why is there another zombie? Oh, my cage right there! <laughs> hey, about to get another knife through the face. Well, There's gonna be another situation where I can't grab these because your head's in the wall. Oh, there's the other MO disc. Okay. Hold on. What locks you? It's locked electronically. Oh, yeah. Oh, I lost two knives. Let's go to let's go to some shocky. I didn't switch to the shocky boys. There we go. Set that body on fire so we have to worry about it. I. Yeah, I need to go this way. I need to put that green herb away. To be fair, and because I know what's going to happen, I really shouldn't set everybody on fire. Well, I mean, I should set everybody on fire because I hate Crimson Heads, but I shouldn't kill every zombie I see. I need to get some space here for these things. I was wrong. I started encroaching on the on the empty bottles and stuff here. I need more inventory space. Just put this away. I don't need this right now. We have the spot for it. We don't have the spot for it. I'm holding on to it. I'm just gonna pop. I'm gonna burn this zombie body. I don't know if this plays in like an increased sense of crimson headness. But the lead, the less I have to worry about the better. I will take that MO disc. I will take that MO disc and immediately put it back in the storage box. I'm progressing far into this place, huh? <laughs> We've been here for what? Seven, eight minutes? And we've seen three rooms. I'm actually kind of nervous about downstairs. Okay. 
We still have one more to burn for that, but the less we worry about right now, the better. Plus, we're just kind of clearing this room. Also, I have a feeling we're going to come back to the save room, so I'm just going to leave that green herb there. No, I should keep my pistol equipped just because I have all the ammo for it. They put a gate here to make it separate. Okay, that's nice. All right, I already hear footsteps. That door to the left. Oh, the door to the right and the door to the left. Alright. You're not naked this time. Excuse me? Oh, I thought it was just you. This door is locked. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. It's locked. Symbol resembling a power area. Okay, so those are the same key. Oh, what was up with that warning symbol at the bottom? Ooh, Magnum ammo. Why'd the music stop? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, that scared me. <laughs> The, I wasn't expecting the noise. Umbrella Computer OS Ropples. Copyright Umbrella Corp. Oh, I don't have the password. Oh, let me just do escape then. V Act. Researcher's note. There is no evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into a, mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Ax. Its speed and remaining muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, you decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, that thing I killed with the masks? How, how kind. Oh, there's more to this room than I want, than I'd, than I'd like. Oh, this angle sucks. <laughs> Is that it? A variety of chemicals you've never seen before. Oh, that's not it. What else is here? Oh! Ooh! I didn't even see that. That's it. Okay. Oh, I did the I did the stupid thing. I chose the wrong direction and out of the doors I could go through. This one has the computer, but it doesn't have the password. The other side does. More herbs. Oh, just a green herb? Well, that's a little disappointing. We have a computer here. I need the passwords for it, though. Although... Is this what I could use the film on? A video player to see what's recording on it. Maybe... Is there a tape? A monitor uses display images from an electron microscope. Nope, not that one. Information management server appears to be broken. I don't see a... 
I don't see a tape player. If anything, this area should have a tape player. Oh, perfect. Take that, face. I don't have to burn your body, because you have no head. That couldn't have been better. Do another first aid spray. Well, what's up with these Dutch angled cameras? <laughs> Hold on. Map. There should be two, three doors in here. Yep. Two locked, one unlocked. It's locked? That doesn't help. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you could just release the locks on the levers. That's new. That's not what I expected. Where's this other door at? Ah, there you are. We might be able to finish this off on episode 20. Ooh, okay, this room is a lot less scary than it was before. The space to put up an x-ray photograph. We take the x-ray? I will. I only have one. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door... Place the initials in alphabetical order. Place the initials in alphabetical order. Oh, yo, there's two of these things. An x-ray photograph is posted on the wall. There's a name written at the top. Alex Beckett. I'm going to write this, these names down. Alphabetical order, huh? Alex. Beckett. Ed Fisher. My pen's running out of ink. My very good pen's running out of ink. Okay, what's this one? Looks like it has a name on it. Gail Holland. Ooh, is it is it last name or is it first name? I assume. Well, E F G A. Either way, it's last. <laughs> Clark's David. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That helps with when uh, both signs give you exactly what you want. No matter if it was first name or last, it, it would have been right. Oh, hide letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came today, and as, as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach as a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. Alright? What was his name? I bet he'll give it to us. Ada? You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. A road... A road... Road tent genogram. Rowan Geno, ro, ro, I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John.
All right, so the password for that thing should be on these x-rays. John, Ada. Part of it is glowing red. 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 Okay, these... No. Place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay, hold on. That's the colon, so C. I think that's the esophagus. I think, I think the other two is the liver and the lungs. So it's C E L cell. <laughs> Room is so creepy. And that's everything. Well, let's see. The computer doesn't... We already have everything in that room. But the computer is just for... Unlocking stuff. I'll also take this box just because it's here. Be more herbs. Sweet! Makes a two green herbs was inside. Oh, that's good. I could combine. There, I have a full green herb thing now. Which means I still have an inventory spot, and there apparently is something in this hall. Good news is you're still dead. I think we'll unlock the doors and then we'll go save the game. I got I almost I almost freaked out because that blood was there and I thought it was new. Alright, login, John. What font is this? <laughs> Basement door lock operation, select floor. Basement three. Oh, they don't do the finger gun thing anymore. <laughs> Entry to the, into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. To basement two. Permission denied. Enter password. Awesome. I don't think there was anything else I could do. Although to be fair, I'm about to I'm about to enter the visual room, so I feel like that is what I could use this Kenneth tape on that we've had for so long. Thought I, I thought I saw uh, some shotgun shells, but it was just a reflection. What is in that red room? Oh, it connects with that. Okay, well. Well, let's go pick up that green herb and see if that turns the entire thing green. So things really picked up this week. <laughs> we, we went through a lot of areas this week. Now, if things continue on this path... We should be able to finish Jill's story next Thursday. So why does the music sound so, more, so much more ominous right in this floor <laughs> than it does on the on the next floor? At least I've been using my pistol to good use. All this ammo wasn't wasted for nothing. Like in Code Veronica, where I had like 400. <laughs> I think.
think too much ammo is way, is better than no ammo at all. If I had to choose one. Put this mixture down here. I got so many green herbs. I'm going to have to start combining these just so I can get rid of them. I know what to use these magnum rounds on once we start using them. Well, we did a, we did a lot this episode. We re-entered re the mansion. Left the mansion by finally using that stone and metal object thing. Headed to the altar underneath the mansion found barry confronted barry fought that weird monster thing which i think is lisa uh after pushing four blocks off lisa jumped off the platform and then we progress over to the laboratory where we unlocked a bunch of locked electronically locked doors and so next episode we're gonna continue our way through the laboratory because there's quite a bit more left to do plus chris is still missing and that that's an issue <laughs> I mean, we've been trying to look for him since episode one. I have a feeling we're going to get close to finding him in the next two episodes. So, on the next episode, well, I just mentioned what we're doing next episode. We're going to continue going through the mansion and uh, go through these two doors we just unlocked and see if we can find anything to unlock other doors around here. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>